What's happening YouTube? This is KP Tutorial 1, a recoded version. I decided to start the whole thing again because it just became a complete and utter spaghetti mess and I wasn't happy with it. So um, this tutorial is just going to go through the structure, the new structure. Okay. Um, instead of using the box layouts and just uh, nesting a million and one and to achieve the effect I wanted um, I've gone with scatter layout so that the user can customize the GUI the way they want all right um, I've also decided to make a couple of modules for the tool um, just to make the code a bit cleaner all right so if I just open a folder there's a few folders here we're not going to get into this now into this tutorial um, ju just to show you though, uh, we have a thread engine module, okay, which we will be using uh, probably in the next tutorial or the one after that. Uh, the get network module I'm going to get rid of because I decided that it was pointless. I just created a module just for the sake of creating a module and it doesn't really do anything other than, you know, I could have just put it in the main code. So I'm going to get rid of that. Right, so let's have a look at the code. Alright, so I basically, instead of boring you after death and coding it line by line, I've coded this section already. Uh, I've commented it out, the, the parts that um, we haven't got to yet, um, just so that you can see the GUI um, uh, basically uh, take shape. Okay, so it's exactly the same as the last, the last um, few tutorials. We have um, a main screen. Okay. Um, we have some global variables which are new, all right, so that we can access them. Uh, the nodes is going to be a dictionary to store all the nodes found, all the information we need. Uh, we're actually going to use it to uh, load some custom images as well, which we're going to get into. Uh, LAN info is going to contain our device nick info, all right, and let's just go back down here. And the scan range is going to be the range of IP addresses that's going to be for that particular subnet. All right, I've decided to use uh, the net address module to do that part, which we're going to get into as well. All right, so these are all the imports. We're not going to use everything right now, but we will be. Okay, so screen one, MITMS1. It has a canvas. All right, the source is the background. I'm going to be supplying all the images for this as well. And then inside this, we have a scatter layout. Now, the scatter layout enables you to move the uh, particular layout around. Also, for touchscreen devices, you can, um, you know, like with the photos, you can zoom in, zoom out, and rotate and stuff like that. You can do the same thing, the same interactions. Okay, uh, we've got a label. Okay and the source as well I've got a background there which is transparent which will show the background through um, I'm going for a particular effect you're going to see the the tool take shape over the coming weeks um, I'm going for a particular effect which you're going to hopefully witness right so if we just build that and see what we have so far okay so it seems as though you've just got the canvas there but if you notice you have a, a label here okay it's very transparent at the moment all right we're just going to add a few more widgets to this particular layout okay it's going to be the same as the tool before um, the previous tutorials are still useful guys you can still go through it okay uh, hopefully you'll learn a bit from that all right so what we have here is I'm going to put a text layout, a text input, sorry, um, in there to allow the user to specify the NIC network card that they uh, want to use and they want to derive the subnet and IP from. Okay, we're going to have three buttons one's to scan the LAN, one's to uh, scan um, for basically call an if config command okay and once to save the f the um, the results that's found 
So let's uncomment that and see what that looks like. And do that and build. Right, so there we go. Okay, and it's totally uh, resizable. Now I do um, advise that you play around with the size hints and pause hints according to your screen, uh, maybe different, but I've, uh, I've aligned them pretty well there as well. Obviously, you can go full screen as well. Okay, now we've got no functions assigned at the moment to the buttons, but we will be doing that. Right, so let's close that. And what's next? We've got another scatter layout. Now, this scatter layout is going to contain the scroll view. Now, if you remember from the previous tutorials, the scroll view was on screen two. I've decided to put this on screen one. Okay. Um, I think it looks better. And also, you've got all the information there um, to look at, and you can um, basically adjust it as you like. Okay. Now, obviously, this scroll view is not going to appear. All right, because there's no ARP scan at the moment, so there's no function to actually propagate this. Okay, but we have a scatter layout, okay, which has a scroll view. Now the scroll view um, is allowed to have one child, which is a box layout. Now the box layout is going to have the buttons of all the nodes found. Okay, and we give it an ID, but we'll be getting to that in the future tutorials. All right, and last but not least we have this is going to be it's going to be like a heads up display of the target information once chosen um, I haven't decided exactly what it's going to do at the moment but I'm going to try and speed ahead with these tutorials because I believe we got up to the port scan alright and I want to get into some more fun functions um, I've already had an, a request for um, seeing what what the uh, the target is uh, looking at in terms of sites and URLs and things like that which is coming so don't worry about that guys it's coming alright I just wanted to uh, update you with the tool so let's uncomment that and I'm going to be giving the code in the description as always alright so basically that's it okay we're going to get into the logic of the code in the next tutorial I just wanted to give you a heads up all the images and uh, logos that are going to be coming are going to be given away for free. Okay, made by me. Uh, you're more than welcome to use them if you'd like. If you'd like to design your own, and that's cool as well. Let's just build that and see what happens. And we have an error. So invalid syntax. Invalid syntax. Why? ID. What? I've done and I think it's going to be here canvas rectangle ID target what is this target target none there we go ok size hint one none right so let's cut that and it's basically just the ID for the box layout that's within the scroll view um, just a little hiccup there so if we build that okay that's fine now this here you can see it moving around Okay, very transparent. I'm going to play around with the graphics in this and um, and see what I can come up with. All right, but there you have it. All right, guys, um, stay tuned. The next tutorial is coming really fast. Okay, I'm going to speed you up to the uh, port scanning. Um, I've also um, I'm also going to go into the thread engine module with you guys. All right, I hope you enjoyed the tutorials. As always, thanks for watching. Um, if you like what you watch, please don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up. I will appreciate it. Keep coding. Keep being awesome. See ya.